Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in the sequel of my dreams, Turnip Boy Robs Our Bank. This again was developed by Snoozy Kazoo, published by Graffiti Games and is usually available for £12.49 slash $14.99 but is included in Xbox Game Pass. Who to the ray? So, the sequel we didn't know we needed or deserved, but we have both. Yes! Turnip Boy is back and he's teaming up with the notorious Pickle Gang, Pickle Rick not included, as the team tried to rob the Botanical Bank in what the papers are calling a 10 out of 10. A must see. Five stars. Turnip Boy robs a bank. Out now. Uh, uh, sorry, got off track there. This is not the cinema. <sighs> Anyway, as for achievements, uh, a lot you will get through natural progression anyway, for like, um, obviously all the money you steal, buying all items off the dark web, from roboroids to researching to get uh, to weapon level 10, uh, etc. You know, all the things which will come with natural progression, but the main big boys are for completing all tasks given to you and for finding all hats. Still easy, but can also be easy to miss one or two as well. So the big timestamps, of course, will be available to see what you're missing, if any at all. And all in all, you're looking at around four to five hours potentially to get this done. So with that being said, let's do it. And you can see where it says right there. Let's go. Now, also what we can do here is go into your options, go down to accessibility. And as you can see, just like in the first Turnip Boy game, we can put God Mode on. You can put the damage up to three if you prefer. And if you want to auto-aim and aim laser, then uh, yeah, you can put those on as well. If obviously you'd prefer to do it legit. It's completely up to you. But again, it's uh, it's a nice way so that all people um, all people who may not be as brilliant on sort of uh, light roguelike type games, everyone can just get involved. So it's... Uh, Again, you know, I know a lot of people um, do kind of tend to complain about the accessibility options and god modes and stuff like that. But if it gets more people playing the game, then why the hell not? This is unfortunate yet hilarious. The Queen of Fort Fatass. That's, uh, that's, Jenny, we thought they were talking to me then, but uh, yeah, maybe not. Anyway, so here it begins. Turn it by, yeah, it's, it's. Yes, it's, oh, it brings a tear to your eye duct, doesn't it? So anyway, uh, this is Dilatini. This is Pickle Rick's notorious cousin, Pickle Dilatini. We're just going to head to the right, and then eventually we will get into the game proper. There he is, old Spilatini. Okay, so let's get some tutorials going, just in case you've forgotten how to play it. So you're obviously going to walk with the left stick. Remember that you've got, uh, you can press the A button to talk to and interact with people and things. Uh, now, obviously, we are going to be robbing people. So a lot, uh, th a lot throughout the game, you can see that we can actually go to people. If they've got the dollar sign on them there, you can press the A button to shake all the money out of them. And obviously, I've got auto-aim and things on, but if you haven't, with the right stick, you will um, aim the laser and aim and shoot that way. But of course, again, just for easiness' sake, we're just going to pop everything on, because, you know, where the hell net? Right, so uh, what we could do this time, again, these are going to be all our little friendly friends, but basically, you just have to press the left trigger to get through the laser. And there we go. Uh, <laughs> and apparently, just don't do it exactly like I did there by failing incredibly. Right, once you've spoken to little um, Potato Head, uh, or little Pea Head, I don't know, whatever, uh, go to the left and interact with the truck, and then we will end up in the weapons... Uh, oh, in fact, no. We're going to end up in the actual bank first. Um, so, yeah, we smash through the wall without any problems. Apparently, security guard, no one decides to come and have a look what it is. So, obviously, a lot can damage you in this game. The first there is going to be the snail. Now, obviously, what we're going to need to do, especially for the first part of the game, is try and get as much money as we can. We can only get, first of all, up to a thousand dollar dues in the bag until we um, upgrade our money bag later on. But we will head up 
This is the sort of fancy foyer, the, the sort of main area here. This is our friend, little Holo. Holo Ono. Um, so yeah, so obviously for the time being, what we're going to be doing then is obviously just having a, a big look around. We're going to speak to Starfruit here on the right, who is going to give us our first task -aroni, pepperoni. And of course, um, obviously if you press the start button, you, you can see there on your mobile phone that you will have um, tasks. So obviously you can just have a look at what tasks you need to do. Remember, we've got to do them all. So go ahead, speak to Construction Beat. And we won't be able to get to the next section until we have enough money to buy the pickaxe. So what we're going to do, we are we can actually shoot these ATMs. Atoms. No, it's... It, when I say ATM, I don't mean the other thing. A to mouth. You know what I mean. Anyway, you just seen me there pick up a book of some sort and what looks like a boot. Now, this is... So obviously when you just collect real money or, you know, fake money or whatever, that goes into the left side where it says 280 at the minute. The other things are valuable items that we can rob and they get added to your total when we go back to the weapons warehouse. So any time that you see uh, any glass cases like that or anything that you can collect, it's definitely worth doing. Now with these elevators, these are randomly generated and it's not so bad, but... These elevators have different tasks in them and they have different things in them. Again, it'll get easier as we go through the game. So your, I don't know if it's going to be the exact same for this first one, um, but it may be different. So the first one, like, I think it is going to be different every single time. Um, so it's literally just a case of, as you can see, my first one here then, if I speak to, well, there's going to be someone up in the top room for me and he is going to give us a task. So again, Especially in this early part of the game, whatever elevator that you might get, again, it's probably not going to be the same as mine, but don't panic. They're not, they're only going to be like small rooms um, where we can obviously shoot some enemies, get as much money as we can. And there will normally be a task in there for us to grab as well. So make sure that you have explored everywhere and that you have uh, gotten a task. Now, in the timestamps as well, what you're going to see at the minute, I'm just going from room to room, just shooting tings. Um, three armed donuts for some reason um, <laughs> and uh, obviously just collecting as much money as we can there is a safe there but we won't be able to get it just yet but that is uh, yeah so obviously in the timestamps as, as I was saying what I'll put down is like where, where the task is located and what elevator it is uh, hidden behind so for instance we've come into a normal elevator where there's nothing on it you get gold elevators which are like big vaults then there's other Loads of different elevators, like there's a fox, a fox picture on an elevator, there's a, a mountain, a skull, a demonic symbol, and they will obviously all have different tasks, etc. But again, it's completely random, and you may get lucky and get uh, quite a lot of the tasks out the way quicker than me, or you may be unlucky like me and not see a particular elevator door until um, uh, a little bit later on. But of course, so as we again... So for me there, that elevator, I've explored the entirety of the room, so we're all good. So obviously we're on god mode, so you don't have to worry about being shut up and stuff. So what we can do now, uh, don't worry about Blueberry, you stink, we can head to the right. Uh, also, <laughs> again, sorry, another thing there, as, as you could have probably seen, in the top right hand corner, at the minute, you get a three minute countdown. So once the countdown is done, this is where you'll get, it's kind of like a Grand Theft Auto style uh, stuff. So obviously the more police officers that we shoot, the more uh, tougher enemies will appear. And obviously when it gets to five stars, uh, Stinky, the main boss onion bro, will start gassing the place out, which if you're playing legit, really takes a number off your health. So, uh, so obviously what you would be doing again, if you are playing legit and you don't fancy uh, smashing through all of the cops, you would just go back down to the truck where we first started, and that will put you back to the weapons warehouse. But, um, so here then, we have the gold-plated elevator door. Again, sadly at the minute, it is it's it is randomly generated until you go back to the weapon warehouse, and then when you come back into the fancy foyer and stuff like that, it all changes again. So, yeah. So, obviously, what I've done here is... Now, I've actually ended up in the room where we can finish star fruits um uh, the star fruits task so this is where we will find slay queen 
And she's like, hey, Sly King. And we're all like, hey, girl, what's going on? And you know how, uh, you know how women talk. All women talk like that, right? All, everyone. Hey, girl. But this is where we're actually going to get a, another, um, another task. So, yes, hopefully I've covered all bases. Basically, if we just go to the right and then go up, that is where you're going to find a little melon, and he's going to give us another task. So, yes, hopefully I think I've covered all bases there. So, obviously, with the money, with the actual cash, as I said, you'll only get up to uh, 1,000. So, again, just before we go back into the truck to go back to the warehouse, just make sure that we've got at least 1,000. Here is the uh, Watt Melon, and uh, he has given us a task, even though it hasn't come up just yet. Um, obviously, we need to be collecting little artifacts, which will give us extra bits of money. Again, they will appear in random locations, so if they're there for me on screen, they may not be uh, there for you, or they may be somewhere else, so obviously just keep checking and having a look around, keep shooting the crap out of everything. And obviously, as I've mentioned about the Grand Theft Auto 5-star style um, um, uh, thing, where you get gassed in the end. Of course, we can't blow open the vault, we need some C4 for that. So once you've done everything and you've got a a, you know, a, a full bag, um, we can actually just go ahead and crack on. So, back out of the elevator, go to the left. Again, you can't, I mean, obviously, since you're on God mode, you don't actually have to shoot everything and everyone, but, you know, it gives you a kind of, not that makes you feel more like a man or woman than uh, shooting stuff on screen. Um, but like I said, we can't, at the minute, um, we can't actually grab uh, anything else, so... What we're going to do for now is actually just get the hill on out of here and go back down. Down to the lackluster lobby and of course this is where our truck is always parked. So every time we do this and every time we come back to the truck, uh, we're like, we're all, we are going to get an achievement here. Buy yourself something nice for stealing a grand. I wish it was that easy. Obviously, if you got the little artifacts, they were the ones then that bumped us up to 1,250. So once we are back here, we will speak to Pickle Dilatini again. Pickle Rickle Teeny. Um, and again, this is just obviously getting us used to the game. So we'll go ahead and speak to Annie here. She's basically going to, uh, give us a quest to take 11 pictures, which we will not be able to finish really until towards the end of the game. Uh, you can speak to a banana, but he actually doesn't do anything. He is just Am's banana. Uh, but if you have a look at the computer here, this is where we can find everything on the dark web. So for now... If you manage to get the 1,250, you can grab the laser pointer and the C4. If not, you know, don't worry about it. We've got to come back anyway. But it it, it is uh, that sort of game there. That if, and again, we can go ahead and uh, speak to Robo Raphael. He is the one on his Robo Roids. And uh, then we can just speak to Dil Dittle Teeny again and nip back in the truck. But that's how it is. So if you're thinking, oh, I, I need a little bit more money. Obviously, what you can do is a couple, again, two ways to sort of play this. You can go and, you know, grind out some money. So keep getting a, keep getting a thousand, go back in the truck. So it's obviously saved into your, into the warehouse. So you can just keep going back and forth. Or you can obviously just play through the game and, uh, yeah, yeah, just do it like that. So it's completely up to you if you want to do a little bit of grinding to get more money. Or if you just want to carry on with me and see how we go, then... Well, it's all good, but like I said, every time, especially first of all, um, we are going to be filling the bag and getting as many of these sort of little items that we can get as possible. So, back into the fancy foyer, and again, like I said, in the top right corner, you've got the uh, clock, but on God mode, it doesn't matter. Now we can go ahead and speak to Starfruit, and Starfruit will actually, uh, well, will be sorted. Hopefully, anyway, hopefully it'll be the same for you. If not, remember, with that one, um, you just have to find the Slay Queen in one of the golden elevators there. Um, so with that, obviously, we can also... Uh, we also grab the artist hat. So that is also how we grab a lot of the hats and a lot of the items, is primarily by doing tasks. Um, there's only a couple that you sort of have to go out of your way for, which, of course, I'll let you know when we get there. So, obviously, since we've, again, gone back to the warehouse and come back here, the elevators will have changed. They change every single time that you go to the warehouse and come back. So, as you can see, in the next normal Lekun elevator, I've got another task, and this is an old lady line. 
Oh, all you've got to do is suck the lime out of me, and then we'll go and get you that Xbox you so to acquire. Uh, so yes, that'll be the task. Again, like I said, for the majority of these like elevator rooms, there's only one uh, task. Um, you can obviously speak to some of the NPCs as well, um, but they're not particularly necessary. Um, and obviously we can go ahead and go and grab some money. Now, obviously in these rooms as well, what we can find, since we've got the laser pointer, we can now go up to the safes, any of these safes, press the A button on it, and that will laser point it out. That'll give us a little bit of money, and it will give us a more expensive rare item. So with whatever room you're in then, uh, obviously, and you you think you've got everything that you can, we can head out. Um, we are actually going to go to the right-hand side elevator as well. So again, you know, obviously, the more we play the game, the easier this will be, and obviously, the more you'll get used to it. Um, as you can see, I've got another, con uh, another, another, other, other, um, <laughs> normal elevator. So again, as I said, because these are completely randomly generated, you may get a different one. Uh, but basically, again, there's another task in here. So what you can do if you head to the left and then head straight down into the next room, there is one piece of delicious looking ravioli who is going to need uh, need us to do a little something something. Um, so, yeah, just if you manage to get this room, make sure to obviously get the task from the ravioli. But again, as I said, for... Just for the next uh, few minutes or so, I'm just having a look around just to see if we can get any safes, which there normally is in the rooms like this. There is normally at least two safes. Uh, so we can just go ahead and get some of the rarer items. Again, like I said, it's always worth doing now um, to get as much money as we can, and obviously it will get a lot easier later on. Again, if only it was this easy to be, you know, uh, getting some money and stuff. Anyway, like I said, here is the ravioli then. So once you've spoken to ravioli, you look so pretty, ravioli. I like your hair. Now get in my mouth. I'm not in that way. I'm hungry. Right, so we need to find uh, someone called Pyroji. Or Pyroji, I think. Is that an Italian pie? Perhaps. Uh, but that, again, is one of the tasks, so um, if you've managed to get into that room, of course, that's all good. If not, you will probably find it sooner rather than later. So again, uh, for now, we've pretty much got uh, everything that we need to do, uh, so we can just go back into the truck in order to buy the pickaxe in order for us to proceed. Nice. So rich. So tasty. So rich. Right, so, uh, I'm not a parsnip. I'm a turnip, damn it. Anyway, go ahead and speak to little Beanhead on the right, the first twin. Now, this is the um, uh, weapon research. So basically, if you have a gun that is not the two that you originally took into the bank, you can actually, uh, so obviously I, I picked up a cactus gun. You'll find plenty of guns after you beat bosses, after you beat enemies, and just searching around the place. Um, so, but it's only the uh, weapons that you find on the floor and on enemies that you can put into the weapon research. Again, uh, we'll have a look now at the weapons rack in just a minute. So if you take 
the two guns off the weapon rack into the building. You can't actually use those for research since we've already unlocked them, if that makes sense. So go ahead, go back onto the uh, dark web here. You should now have more than enough for the pickaxe. If not, just quickly nip back and uh, go and get another cheeky easy thousand and go into some elevators and stuff, try and get some more tasks. Again, I did have to do that two or three times where I didn't have enough money uh, for something specific. So I ended up having to go back just to quickly fill up my money bag again, and then it was obviously a lot easier. So this is what I mean then by the weapon rack. Obviously, the more you, uh, the more weapon research that you do, you will obviously unlock more weapons. Um, and again, the weapons that you pick off this weapon rack don't count towards the weapon research, again, if, if that makes sense. So it's only weapons that you find on the floor which are not your starting ones from dropped enemies and stuff like that. So, uh, yeah, so we go again. Now we can actually proceed further on. And also, whoever has to keep patching up that same wall over and over again, I bet's getting pretty pissed off with it right now as we keep bursting through it. So again, shake down. Shake down, everyone. And then go up and up and up. So, what we can also find as we continue on with the game now, these statues, there's going to be plenty of these statues about. So, what you can actually do is you can pickaxe them and they will give you, um, uh, like, $50 worth of items to go towards your total later on. Plus, gold ones you'll find later on as well, which is obviously be more. So, again, like I said for the beginning, it's always worth just uh, doing the whole pickaxing thing. So, into this next little area. Ooh, it's all fun. We get, um... Again, there's a glass smash item there for me. Might not be for you, so don't panic if it's not. Um, we are going to interact with, not particularly Hollow Annie, but we're going to interact with Graffiti Gear. And what we can do is now focus on getting the 11 photos. So here is the first photo, as you can see. All you've got to do is just interact with the photo sign, and that will take it. So that's one out of 11 done. You will also get a couple of pictures for doing certain tasks as well. So speaking of the... P here, he, uh, we now need to tag the painting, and we're also going to speak to this dragon fruit with a haircut that can only remind us of the early to late 1990s. Um, so we need to get some wood for the dragon dude as well, and this guy will give us a task a lot later on. So for now, what we can do, since we've got the red crayon, uh, again, you can actually kill enemies with it, of course, which is always nice. Again, anytime you see any of these glass cabinets, make sure to pick the item up as well. But first of all, there's the first painting then directly in front of us. The second one is just to the right of it. Yeah, we don't actually have to talk to these construction beats, you know. So there's the second one. And of course, the third one is going to be just next to this uh, first aid pack. So let's go find the rest of them, which will be if we continue to the left. There's the fourth one just next to the uh, number one door. And the next lot are going to be down. So let's go back down into the proper fancy foyer. One to the right there and one to the left of the doorway we came down. And if we head, um, which way are we go? And we're going to head down again. And the next two are going to be on this wall. Sorry, that's a first aid kit. Uh, that's actually the last one that we need. So that will be all of the drawings done and taken care of. Now, again, if you want to have a look in the elevators as well, um, you can do that. See if you've obviously seen them before or not. But interact with the P again, and that will sort out. Uh, now, we get a graffiti hat as well. So, again, like I said, always worth just uh, having a look at the elevators. If it's an elevator that you've been in before, you can actually just uh, nip out. And, um, obviously, if it's one that you haven't been to before, quickly have a look around, grab a task. But we're actually going to go for the first boss now. So, it's old Potato Head, the sergeant. Yeehaw! Because yeehaw likes some fries and his potatoes. So, all it is just a case of, if you're playing it legit, all you got to do is just obviously avoid his gunfire and uh, kill the enemies. And just try and, uh, when he's down on the floor, just try and hit him as best you can. When he gets back up onto his little uh, chippy chip station, just you got to kill all the enemies and he'll pop back down. Repeat. Rinse and repeat three times, and this is the Foist boss over.
Yeah, down the rabbit hole with my agenda. Down the rabbit hole, oh yeah. So, since we have beaten Sergeant Fryhead, what we will do, and what I, again, I highly advise to do, is uh, get rid of your two starting weapons and pick up both of the weapons there. So, obviously, we can use it for the, the weapon research, plus pick up the key card as well. That allows us to go through any doors with the number one on it. And old stinky onion's going to be like, Eh, hey, you just beat my chips, yeah? And then Pickle Rickle, Pickle Dilatini's going to be like, Eh, hey, get your ass back here, boy. Sorry, it's a terrible attempt at a Cartman. But what we're going to do is find two tasks here. Speak to Blueberry on the right. And we need to uh, get a loan payment. So we'll sort that one out. Plus, there is the old man lime. Now, obviously, if you've managed to find the elevator with the old lady lime in, who wants uh, a divorce, then this is where you will find the old man lime. So you actually need to shake him three times. Oi, Mish, what are you doing, mate? Uh, so shake him three times. The divorce papers will be out of his glorious moustache, might I add. I mean, he's got he's pretty much more moustache than lime, and I am mwah, all here for that. Right, so now we can also speak to the florist as well, just while we are here, just to the right of where we found the old man lime. Uh, so now we need to find a ring. I don't know why people just can't do this themselves, but there we go. Um, so yes, of course, as you can see now, there's going to be a whole lot of... Um, uh, Cops, and obviously we're going to be shot at. It's not very nice. I'm just a turnip trying to rob a bank. Nothing more, nothing less. Right, so what we can do, um, you can speak to the strawberry if you want, but we don't actually need to speak to her just yet, because she's not going to give us a task until we get the ring for Blueberry Head, just to the right of us. Now, this is uh, quite a big area, and obviously every time we leave and come back, it will be chock full of... Uh, glass ca uh, glass cases that we can find items in, the statues, the stinky statues where we can get rid of and uh, get some more items towards. So it is literally, at the minute, it is just a case of uh, just doing that for a second. Plus, of course, there are, there are two elevators at the top of the screen as well. Right then, so as we're making our way towards the top of the screen, you can see a whole bunch of cardboard boxes, plus there is a carrot that we need to interact with. He's basically going to ask us to buy him a cardboard box. Somehow the cardboard box is eight grand. I, I mean, I know we're in inflation, but, uh, oh damn, it's taking a pierce. There is also Crangelica, a little emo tomato thing right there, who will also give us a task, and the task will include having to look for an elevator door with the um, demonic pentagram symbol on it. So if you do find a pentagram symbol on one of the elevator doors, what you have to basically do is go in, go up to the top of the screen, fight off a couple of waves, and then speak to Cran Cran. Uh, that's if you find the door before me, because again, one of those doors did not show up for me for ages and ages. And then piss me off. So of course, every time you shoot some enemies, you'll get some weapons as well. Uh, but here we go. We can, again, have a look at the tasks if you want to there. Um, so if you ever get a, a little bit stuck or a little bit confused, obviously what you can do, and obviously we use this for the remaining of the tasks later on, uh, where we ha where I'll, I'll obviously have a look at the tasks, see which ones I've got left, and then I also write down which elevator door is in it. So we can um obviously know what elevator door that we're looking for but again let's focus on that a little bit later so obviously this is your phone now with the hats there was a little bit of i think a lot of people thought that this achievement was bugged so there was um plenty of comments out there basically saying don't open up your hat mail at all until the very end of the game for me personally as you can see this is what i've done and it didn't seem to unlock first but it's only because I had to 
sit through the rest of the credits rather than quit out and go back in. That's what worked for me. So it's not actually bugged, just in case. Or I don't think it's bugged anyway. So we have purchased a train ticket. So once we've done that, just quickly uh, get back up there to a thousand because they do cost 250 buckaroonies each time. Uh, again, with like I said, with the guns as well, just make sure that you've got two different guns off enemies, two that you didn't start off with. Um, <laughs> Mac is looking quite crap at looking crack. Uh, but uh, pretty much we are effectively done now. So obviously, we like I said, there are two elevator doors in here. There's the first one for me there. I've got one golden elevator door. Um, now, again, as I said, if you go inside and have a look and if it looks familiar or you've already done that room, obviously there's no reason unless you want to go to the laser pointer safes and get some of the rare items about. Um, but if you're specifically just looking for tasks and the room looks familiar, you can obviously just crack on with it. But, uh, like I said, it's probably worth going to find some of, uh, you know, getting two or three rare items just to bulk up your money as much as you can. Oh yeah, and for the first time, since we're on five mega stars, we, uh, yeah, we're gonna get gassed out. Now, of course, like I said earlier, if you're playing legit, man, this damages you worse. This is basically like, uh, somebody Dutch ovening you, where they stick your head under the, uh, fire and give yourself a little farty fart. So, uh, yeah, that's, it's pretty much the same thing, where you just want to throw up and die. Right, uh, so we do actually find a task in here as well. In this particular one, it's the kiwi here right at the top. Now remember the watermelon slice that we found earlier in one of the normal elevator rooms? That's the one that, that he's referring to. So again, if you find that watermelon slice, just make sure to grab that. Um, and again, like I said, since we're playing on god mode, let's just take our time and enjoy the Dutch oven uh, somebody farting in our, in our face. I mean, that's a pretty weird fetish, only ones that a particular country that I think likes that stuff, likes it. It's the, I think it's the same one that likes pooping on people's chests as well, for some reason. Also, like I said, we now have C4, so these big gold doors that, again, you can only find behind the gold elevator doors, you can destroy the fry. We are a mile on, a mile on, yeah. Right, so actually we're just gonna go ahead and go back to the train station. Now, I didn't actually go to the other elevator, so if you wanted to do that first, you can. Um, but like I said, because there's just a good couple of ways to play this game, in terms of you can literally just keep going, as I said, come back to the warehouse, go back, find the different random elevators, come back, go back and find different ones again. Whichever way you prefer to do it, if you prefer the quick grind first or the grind after, but obviously we're eventually going to get into such a place where we don't actually need to uh, grind out. So first things first, we're going to look at Robo Roy's shop. We're going to obviously upgrade the money bag um, and you can buy the hat as well. It's only the one hat that we can actually buy off him. And the rest we can actually just leave for now. The, since we're playing on God mode, we don't actually need it. But obviously the, the bottom right hand corner basically gives you more time. Uh, instead of three minutes, you get four minutes. And obviously the more you upgrade, the more you get. So let's have a look at the weapon research board. Hopefully, like I said, you picked up at least two guns there. Uh, for some reason I didn't. So I only got one, but still a little bit of progress. And we get the old smug. The old SMG, basically the smuggiest of guns. <sighs> Sorry, it is a lot of explaining. Explaining, and apparently I can't English very well either. Uh, there's a lot of explanations, always something going on here. So, uh, again, we can go ahead, speak to Annie. Um, 
You don't actually have to speak to it every time you get a photo. You can just do it all later on, but we can now go ahead and we will actually obviously need 8,000 bucks for a cardboard box, which is kind of a rip-off, isn't it? Let's be honest. Let's be friggin' honest here. So this is, um, yeah, this is what we've got to do. So eight grand it is. So, like I said, again, we get to this area. We do the same thing every time in this area. Then we'll shoot the snail, and then we will shake down all the respective clientels. And so, for the first time then, I get the elevator door with a skull behind it. So, we're gonna nip in, and this is basically a mushroom sort of one. So, it's a mushroom cultist type thing, so we have to do a task for this first mushroom. And then, once we do this, we can actually speak to the four mushrooms behind him to get another four tasks. So, that is what you will do. So, um, now he's actually in the seed stock, so basically the, the big room with where we got the two tasks for Crangelica and that. That is called the Seed Stock Room, and that is where we're going to find the uh, Blueberry, or whatever it is, for the um, last task master. This is basically Turnip Boy slash Greg Davis and Taskmaster. Which, by the way, if you have never seen Taskmaster, I highly advise doing one of the most beautifulest of British shows. So, of course, now, of course, since we got the pickaxe, of course, now we can, of course, of course, start, of course, pickaxing all of the statues. There's always going to be the four statues here, three and uh, three normal and one gold. Plus, there may be um, a glass rare item as well. Sometimes it's there, sometimes it's not. But once we go ahead and speak to the acorn here, he will actually give us uh, another hat. Plus, we will get the tears and his um, soul, or whatever he said. And we've got to give that back to Blueberry in the seed stock later on. And we have a fire door for the first time. Now, again, I I didn't mess up, but I made it longer than I had to. So basically, what we have to do is going to give us um, a weapon. And then what you do is every time you kill a weapon, it's... De uh, kill a weapon. Obviously, this is very... Uh, it's definitely not an Easter egg or a nod towards any other particular game where we have to harvest souls or in the dark or anything like that. Definitely not Dark Souls, no. Um, so with this weapon here, the Scythe, what you do then is with every enemy, they will, only with this weapon, by the way, that it works, as we'll be able to see, but basically they give off like a little blue flame, which is the blue soul. Now, every time you get up to 100, what you'll do then is find the fire door again. So like I said, every time you, get, every time you see a fire door elevator, I highly advise just get in... Obviously, we need to be getting all the money and everything anyway. So try and get um, as many souls as you can, up to 100. Go back through that fire door. Um, give the 100 souls to the flame dude. And we need about three to 400. So my advice is just keep this scythe going. Keep the scythe on you until you have reached all of the souls. Just to get that task out of the way. Again, I do it backwards and don't do it till much later, but that's my advice anyway. So, once we get up into the central bit, we're going to head to the left, which is where the seed stock is. Now, that central area, like I said, is kind of like a main hub type thing. Um, where, obviously, we go to the seed stock on the left and then right and then up and we've just, yeah, we can just go everywhere. So, again, another elevator. Obviously, like I said, every time we get here, we're obviously always going to be checking each elevator. Um... And if you want to do some grinding of the souls, especially with the uh, especially with the police presence now, it should be easy to just nip it up to a hundred. In fact, it should be very easily actually. Uh, but also remember, we need to get eight thousand buckaroonies as well. So with the bag upgrade, I think we can get to two and a half thousand, or maybe three thousand. And then of course we need to try and grab as many um, of the artifacts as we can to bump up the pay. So again, that's just what we're doing in this seed stock area for now. Oh, grand! That's grande. So 
And I do apologise, obviously. I know I've been explaining stuff over sort of directions, um, but there's just so much going on, so much to have to explain. Uh, so I do apologise about that. But anyway, once we speak to the grape on the stage, this is the cult password for old mushroom herd. And, uh, yeah, so that's all good. We can also speak to the blueberry at the bottom right-hand corner, and that will finish the task with the acorn as well. Um, but obviously, I don't do it just yet. So, but if you want to do that now, just get that task out of the way. Yeah, worth doing just to smash it out. Otherwise, we're all good. And then again, if you want to go into the two elevators just to see what you've got, and then be my chicken breast. So finally, uh, this is the first time that I actually get one of the same elevators. You can see it's the one with the ravioli, so that's why I didn't really bother going in. But again, of course, if you want to uh, continue just having a, a mosey on through each elevator room, even if it's the same, just to get a couple more uh, rare artifact items to bump up your bag with, obviously, again, be my guest. It's obviously worth doing. Um, the golden elevator there, I did go in and just have a look around. As you can see, it put me up to 18. And obviously, I've smashed enough people where we need to, uh, we're, we're getting Dutch ovened once again. So, again, this is me just, like I said, even with the two elevators, even though I got the tasks from the elevators, I still went through it just to grab some of the items, just in order to bump up our payday. And then, once you've done that, then we can actually, in fact, what we are going to do is, if we go through the skull one, of course, again, if you've managed to get the skull and or the fire one... Obviously, we can go back, get this, uh, give this mushroom cultist his um, the code, so we can actually go in. And there's going to be four mushrooms that we need to find, which will give us all quests. Basically, what we have to do is kill a hundred swap peppers, which you can find um, during these big massive fights, and mainly in the dark docks area, which we will get a little later on. Two hundred peach cops, which. Again, you will always get when they start trying to fire down on us. Plenty of those. We have to destroy a thousand furniture. And we have to... Uh, kill 50 security snails. So you should get them with natural progression. But again, if you need to grind it out later on, it's easy enough to doi soy. Take care. Yeah, well, it's not like we're going to, you know, wipe their balls for them, huh? Since they can't bathe. Uh, so, again, like I said, because I went with the... Because I've obviously got the fire one as well, I will also give these first 100 souls away. Now, like I said, with this DJ Sizzlebro, he needs... I think it's about roughly 400 souls. So that's why I urge you to basically just keep the scythe on you until you get... The task complete sign, and you get the rock off him. Yes, for all this work, he gives us a bloody rock. Um, but basically, again, you just have to keep pressing the A button next to him, and he'll give us a bunch of songs, and then the souls will finally run out. So once we're done and we've grabbed pretty much everything that we possibly can uh, in these first few rooms anyway, we can actually just head back to the warehouse and uh, let's go and get ourselves a cheeky little cardboard of the Boxerini. Ah, 
yeah, that's what I'm talking about, mate. Right, anyway, let's go ahead and do that. So, again, if you want to do the weapon research, you can if you've got one weapon. Again, like I said, if you've got the scythe here for the souls, keep it. Don't do what I do here. Oh, in fact, I do it the next time. I end up getting rid of it for some stupid reason. Um, but yeah, so we'll fill up the guns. Um, we will go... You can have a look at the Roboroids, but again, we're just going to focus on the dark web. But we can finally buy this cardboard box for 8, 8k. Now, actually, what that does remind me of is, you know when you buy your kids something, like, really expensive, and you go, oh, they're going to absolutely love that. And then they go, oh, wow, that's so cute, for about half hour, and they go, god damn, that's an awesome cardboard box. Toddlers and cardboard boxes, yeah, yeah, that's what it reminds me of. The cardboard box isn't eight grand, the actual toy or whatever it is inside was eight grand, and they preferred the cardboard box instead. Great, thank you. Thank you, toddlers of ours. Right, so again, once we get here, then we can go ahead and have a look at what elevator pops up. And again, just grab any souls that you can. It's another office elevator. I do believe it's the ravioli one again, which it appears to be. So, hey, as much as I love your ravioli, I'm not quite ready yet. Um, but again, like I said, I, I highly advise to just keep checking each elevator um, in every room and every new room that you go into just to see if we can get a, another new task. Again, check the timestamps, because I would have had every task detailed in those timestamps. Uh, so this one, for the first time, we have a mountain-looking one. So go ahead, just grab all of the, uh, the stone squares, and as much as you can, and then go into the elevator at the top, whichever it may be. I am the Lord of the Dawn Set here. So all you're going to find in this room then is the elevator guy and a sad pie. Now, he basically wants us to bring him eight rocks. You will get these eight rocks from doing various tasks for other people, so you don't actually have to go out of your way. So obviously, the more tasks we do, we will bring him those uh, rocks to cheer him up later on. So every time you see a mountain room for now, you don't actually have to go in there um, until, well, later on. So we're all good. Right, so up we head. Again, any enemies, we can just uh, give them a little cheeky slash rooney. And any items that we find, we can also uh, just grab that. So we go, oh, nice little cheeky hundred bucks in my pocket. There's always going to be a statue there to the right. So if you, again, if you just fancy another one for an easy 50 bucks, then be my guest, my chicken breast. Right, so back to the left in the seed stock quarter. So yes, we are actually heading down. We're going to go to the Blueberry now to get that task out of the way. So after you've grabbed everything that you can, speak to old Blueberry Head and uh, the scalp. Yeah, sorry, not the soul, the scalp. Um, but this is the first rock for the pie. So uh, yes, so if you really don't like someone, just bake them a nice rock pie. Hmm. Right, so again, highly advised to just have a look at the elevators here, see which two that you've got. Um, for some reason, I don't even take my own advice uh, for, for a lot of it. I, ke I kept missing the first couple of elevators, uh, especially during this first hour of the game. Uh, but like I said, always worth going in each elevator just to see if you can pick up some more rare items. Also to see if we have something different. So there is the uh, DJ Sizzle Soul Room again. So in fact, I think at the time being... I no, we're going to go to the carrot, actually. In fact, yeah, I'll tell you what we do. We go to the carrot. He will open up the cardboard box for us. 
And then I decided to get some more souls and then we can trade them in on the way back. So we're actually going to be facing off with yet another boss in just a minute. Uh, but there's these new enemies that jump towards you and every time you hit them, they get smaller and smaller. And uh, it's basically very much like yeah, the SpongeBob SquarePants sort of graphic episodes from the first couple of seasons. But once you speak to old cryptid hunter extraordinaire Wilma, or Gummy Bear for short, um, we will need to buy, buy a disposable camera off the dark web, so we can do that in just a little bit. Remember, like I said, uh, I think this is where I get rid of the scythe, I think. Remember not to get rid of the scythe, but obviously make sure that you've got at least one weapon that you can give into weapon research later on. So once you've done destroying, killing everything you can, it's time to head up into the next boss area. The failed festival, which is unfortunate. But you're basically going to talk to um, Michael Jackson if he was reincarnated as a uh, candy apple. Pickle Rickle Dill dil Teeny, there he is. Oh, oh, oh. That is uh, Michael Jackson's candy apple form. So this one is, again, pretty easy, legit. It's, again, just the case, just like the first one, avoiding all the damage. Anytime some new enemies appear, just kill them dead, and then wait for the candy apple to drop to smash him to the grind. Right, so we've done that one. We can now pick up the next key card. And again, now I highly advise for the weapon research actually picking up the weapon there that he leaves behind just because you get more experience for it. Plus, we'll get the cool, cool stingy uh, at the top corner of this room. Now, this room doesn't shut off, so if you miss something, don't worry, you can always come back to it. But make sure to grab that second photo at the top before heading back it down. And then we'll just head back down. Goodbye, my lovers. Goodbye, my... Oh, we're getting Dutch oven again. We're getting Deutschland in uh, farted on. So what we're going to do now is actually head for the train. And we're going to go back to the warehouse since we've basically done everything that we can. So you can either go through the fancy foyer just to get some more items if you so wish. Or you can... Um, in fact, I, what I should have done was go back to the souls door, got rid of my souls, and then picked up another scythe for a hundred coins. But there we go, it's all good. So head back, and we will find some more stuff we can buy. So same thing as we're doing every time then, go to the weapon research um, thing and pop in the weapon. Now, again, for some stupid reason, I got rid... It, it does give a good, decent XP, but we need to complete the task, so don't get rid of your scythe just yet. <sighs> pop up with a couple of guns um, and we can have a look at the dark web once again. Now, we can get the disposable camera because it's only three bucks. Plus, we can get the old goop boots as well. Um... Uh, for now, and then we uh, so what we need to do now is go ahead, grab at least twelve, or get twelve grand in your bank. Got, I had just under five grand right there, so obviously we need to get another seven ish, and then we can get the lantern in order to go into the dark docks, which isn't bad, but it is a bit of a pain in the ass area because you know it's all dark and stiff. There's only one good dark cave that we all want to get in. And that is, uh, you know, the one with the Zubats and stuff in Pokemon. <laughs> right, so we're going to have a look at the elevator. We have a ordinary office. And finally, I have found Mrs. Limeballs. So thankfully and finally, we will get rid of this task. So, and it, she gives us a new hat, the old fancy glasses, which is not a hat, that is glasses. So again, if you just want to nip around and grab some more items for now, you of, of course can do that. Or you can just do like me, crack on, we'll grab in uh, the item from the glass store here, and then go to the next elevator on the right, see what we got.
Right, so I do actually get a fire door here. So what I should do now is get rid of the souls. Plus, if you have a look in the back left corner, you can see that you can buy another weapon for the souls for a um, hundred bucks or a hundred. Uh, yeah, hundred bucks. So that is what I should have done. And that is what I didn't do. So if you do manage to get a fire door, if you don't have it, go ahead and just buy one again, just so we can get rid of that DJ sizzle task. I've done that completely, but backwards then, didn't I? So again, if we get into this little room and you can find some more glass items, we'll go ahead and pick those up uh, before heading up through the one door. Uh, again, always worth just grabbing. I know it's only 50 bucks, but you know, every little helps. That's what Tesco says before they uh, rip you off with, you know, three bags worth of shopping for 120 pounds. Uh, sorry, I, I don't know if Walmart's the same as Tesco there, but anyway. So going into the seed stock area, here we are, just grabbing another rare item block. Uh, I did have a look in the gold elevator. No tasks, but I did have a little uh, nip around just to grab some more items for some more money. And then if we have a look at the next elevator door up here as well, you can see that it is just one of the skull ones, which if you remember, is just the mushrooms, which we won't be getting for a while yet. So for the time being, again, what we're going to do while we're here in the seed stock area, just go ahead and grab as much money as we can as many items as we can too. And once you've started getting enough money then, we can head left up past the carrot and we can give the disposable camera to the old little gummy bear here, Gordon Gummy Bear on the left. So obviously what you've seen then, we got a photo which will be added to the list for uh, Annie and he also gave us a hat as well. So that's how you get that particular hat. So um, for now, I think I'm pretty much squared away with being able to get uh, seven grand at the very least for me. Uh, obviously it may be a, bit, a little bit less or a little bit more for you. So purchase a train ticket, kill everyone until you get your two and a half grand back and then head back to the warehouse, my beloveds. Delectable, huh? Delectable. Right back to the weapon research board. So I do have two weapons. Again, if you don't have the scythe for the soul weapons, just try and always, as I said, try and keep getting two in order to try and get this out of the way later on. There is an easy grind anyway later on if you don't do it, but uh, pick up some more weapons. Now we can finally grab the lantern, which we um, obviously now can go into the next area, which is the dark dock area. So back through and again the guys who've just built the wall are going to be like oh for god's sake turn it boy what the hell are you doing stop wrecking my wells stop tripping bowels and wrecking wells etc etc so for now then what we can do again like i said we'll have a look at the two elevators see what we've got but we can actually enter the new area as i said in just a bit which is the old darkery of the dockery uh, again, it's a, it's a skull one for me there, which remember is the mushroom ones. So we uh, don't, we have no reason to go in there just yet. So let's go and have a look at the right hand side elevator, see what we got.
And since that was just old lime juice head then, we can continue up and away. Up, up, far and away. Remember to grab the ATM if you need some more cash, but at this point you shouldn't need to grind out as much. Um, because as I said, we'll be facing a lot more enemies and etc, etc. Now, when we get into this dark docks area, which in the central hub, if we continue going up, straight through this door here with the number two, this is where it is. And obviously because we got the lantern, we can see a lot better than we would have originally. But this is where we get the, uh, where are the most of the SWAT peppers reside. Remember, we have to kill 100 for the mushroom cult. The, the malt, or the cushrooms. Or something or other. Uh, but anyway, uh, so again, it's a new area, so I'll be explaining where we're doing, what we're doing. Obviously, you can walk on the sludge since you've got, for one, you've got the goop boots, and two, you're on god mode anyway. So just follow the path up. And obviously, you need to just, uh, like I said, obviously, try and keep smashing as much furniture out as you can as well, just to get, remember, you need to hit a thousand bits of furniture. But go ahead and speak to Kim Gobnob with the big schlob on the front of his nose. Um, we need to go and speak to someone in the seed stock, so that's another task done. These ones start getting a little more nicer. Look at that, 10 grand mate. So anytime that you see some of those in this area, some of the glass cases, make sure to grab that. We are into another golden area. So again, if you want to go and grab some, you shouldn't need to. Um, the need for grinding out the money isn't as bad as it well isn't as needed as much as it was in the first area but if we go to the right here you can see gimbler which he's going to be on pal world slash pokemon soon um so we need to get gimbler something to eat. it looks like a food folks so we'll do that later on so head down again there is going to be a couple of enemies here but there is the remember the ravioli earlier this is where pyrogi pyrogi or pyrogi or you know some italian pie Again, just like the old lime dude, you just need to shake him three times and he's going to get rid of the um, item that we need. The food certificate. The good food sea certificate. There we go. The good food sea certificate. The great sexy ravioli. Well, damn, now you're just turning me on. Is it wrong to be turned on by ravioli? You be the judge. So, uh, what we'll do, once we have that, we can, we'll can't. we we'll actually then continue to the right. We won't actually be going to the left, because there's nothing here. We will just continue on to the right. Again, now this area is a bit more of a pain, just because it can just be so confusing on where to go. But hopefully after a couple of times you get, um, we come through this area anyway, it'll be a lot easier. So, let's head down, basically where to the Pyroji was. Or Pyroji. Um, head to the right. And if we, uh, we, we'll go up, there's going to be another photo opportunity. So just where that pie is gone, you can see him right there. Mate, I'm going to eat you if you carry on. And here's the creepy portrait. Mmm, looks goddamn cropo. There is also another one in just a little bit. So another photo section in just a bit. So let us continue on to the right. Bunch of bacons. And again, remember the swat peppers we need to kill as well. Hit another rare item if you see it, if you see one. And again, like I said, as always, if you don't have a scythe, make sure you've got two different weapons than you starting ones, as always. And I've said that about a million times. Here is the next photo opportunity then. It is literally just to the right of where we found the last one. Crying anime. Uh, yeah, sure, bruh. Where net? Where net? So once you've got that photo done, that should be two photo opportunities done for this area. We will continue on to the right. Uh, for now, we actually need 30 grand in order to get rid of this merged food folk. Uh, but if you speak to him, he does give us the task to do that. And that is what will update our dark web listings. So after shooting your way through everything, we can find Stonkle here. This is basically the son of Stinky. Um, it's a kind of depressing, you know, father-son. Basically, Stinky went out for milk and never came back, which is... Uh, <laughs> I mean, damn, that is depressing. Once you've done that one, go ahead and speak to the blueberry here on the right. And we will get the piece of wood, remember, for the dragon fruit a lot earlier on in the game. Now, this is another new door then. This is a water door. There's uh, a task which is going to be right in front of us. Basically, a sodi can. So, the conductor onion, if you remember him from the first game, 
He wants a soda can, which we can't actually get until more towards the end of the game. Plus, there's a neat little thing here. In this locker, you can actually put in um, one weapon. And if you leave it, when you get back to the warehouse, you can actually take that weapon out and use it for the weapon research. So technically, you can go ahead, uh, you can get three weapons for weapon research instead of two, just to make it... Uh, potentially a little bit easier there. But that is all that is in this room. You can go ahead and speak to the Nupux, Nupux if you want, but there's really no uh, need, unless you want to, of course. Right, so once we have got all that, there is one more task that we do need to grab. So if we just head to the left, where all this graffiti is on the floor, we're going to head down here. And if we continue down and to the left, here we go, we've got... My precious old Greg uh, pig nose broccoli head or whatever it is. Uh, anyway, he is going. To, we are going to need to get a pillow, a bunny pillow off the dark web, for his waifu, which uh, <laughs> it's just all funny, isn't it? Really. Uh, so that is all the tasks that we need to do. So, well, I guess that's a well. I guess that's our job. So what we're going to do there now is effectively follow the path left to go back down into the main area. So, first things first, take a left when we get to the central statue thing and we're going to go back into the seed stock. It's seed stock, baby. And then if we just interact with this tree, which is right in front of us, this one right here where the arrow is pointing, that's actually going to be the third, uh, third folk, the fake blueberry food folk. So that is one task that will be completed to Gimbler in just a little bit. And again, like I said, obviously, if you want to check out the two elevators in this room as well, as I've said throughout the entirety of the game so far, it is definitely always worth doing. Otherwise, we are going to head uh, down. Um, just again, just trying to get as much money from rare items as we can. And while we're here, we're going to speak to the Kiwi on the left as well. You think two of them have got tasks, but it is actually only the Kiwi. Um, so he gives us the treaty between the Foo Folk and the Goblins, which will be good for the next one. So that's King Gob Schnoblob. Um, that'll be that task complete as well. And then it's literally just a case of getting as many items as we can and then heading all the way back down to the foyer into the truck to get back to the warehouse. Oh my, that was nice. 28 grand. Right, so have a look at the weapon research board again. Now, obviously, if you did have the water one and you managed to put a third weapon in, you can go to the locker on the left and uh, pop that one in for some more experience and another level as well. But don't worry if you didn't. Like I said, there's an easy way to grind it in just a bit. All right, so what we're actually going to do now is pop the money bag up again. So you should have had more than enough there in order to get the money bag uh, uh, going more. Then we can grab the body body pillow for $69, which, of course, is always hilarious. So that'll be the third task done in the uh, dark docks. So once you've got everything and done everything that you can, we will nip back through the lobby. And again, Turnip Boy is just pissing off the builders each and every time. Every day that wall needs to be built. And I've had enough of it.
Right, so once you've checked both elevated doors, it's starting to get to the point in the game where you'll just see a lot of doubles until we finish some task or elevators that we've already been in before. So coming back to the central area, again, we're gonna head straight up and through to the dark docks. We're gonna get rid of some of these tasks. So again, just follow the path around for now. And of course, when we get here, we're going to interact with Kim, Gobnob, Schloblob, and that is going to be his task complete. And now we get Sir Turnip Boy Robs a Bank. Uh, Rob Banks. Yes, that's a, that's a second name, right? Rob Banks. So uh, again, like I said, obviously, as always, make sure to be getting any rare items that you can see, especially in this area, because they cost, uh, give you 10 grand each. Speak to Glimblablar, and he will give you the Smiley Rogue. Um, hungry for fruit, so that uh, is the smiley rock done. When we get to this area, then we will. Uh, you don't have to speak to the Italian pie, pasty pie pastry. We will head to the. I oh, know uh, this bit always confused me, but we go down and then to the right. Okay. Why am I so confused? Okay, right there we go. So heading to the right into this area here with the graffiti. Um, again, pick up that bit of rarity and we could uh, we will continue heading down straight through to the left and we can actually speak to greg to give him a 69 69 dollar pillow sorry and he'll give us a hat which is goblin ears which isn't a hat because they're goblin ears so that's the three done we've obviously uh well i'm just about to get my ass handed to me if i was playing legitimately <laughs> Now, obviously, what you could do if you had the food folk, if you were able to buy the, if you had enough money to buy the merged food folk thing off the dark web, you could have used that and gone to fight the boss. But again, if you're like me and you didn't have enough money, it is just a simple case of um, getting as much money as you can and just going around grabbing as many items as you can until we get the 30 grand that is needed. Plus, we have to go into the seed stock level as well as this area to find uh, the two elevators to see if uh, there's a new one we haven't been in yet. And would you look at that, we gotta give our stuff to the sexy ravioli, so uh, let's do that since we're finally here. Uh, thank you, sexy ravioli, apparently, and um, she's had, we basically get a couple of rocks for our troubles, so seems pointless, right? Yeah, but it uh, comes in handy, I suppose. So if you were looking for the other elevator, I don't think I actually showed you, if you were looking for the other elevator, it's where we found um, Stonkle's task, where he gives a piece of paper for his dad, it's just above him. Um, now, what you see, and basically, I just then went around, grabbed as much money as I could, grabbed as many items as I could as well. And for one, that would, would have given us the achievement there, hiding your wealth. Plus, we will now have more than enough in order to grab the food uh, thing. So, I didn't complete any tasks. I literally went around, grabbed as much money as I could, and uh, yes, done that one. So, that's why there was a bit of an edit skip there. There's no point in you just watching me aimlessly roll around, trying to grab everything when uh, hopefully you are sort of um, know what the areas are like for now. So now we've got the food folk separator after you've gotten, a, you know, like I said, at least 30 grand for it. Um, go up and grab two weapons. Again, if you want, you can get some Roboroid stuff to help, um, but it's pretty much no need at the minute. So now we can finally head all the way back up again shake everyone off and give as much get as much money and items as you can but now we can finally go all the way up into the dark section again and we can go up to the food folk section in order to face mecha chad babura mecha streisand
Uh, finally, since we got here, uh, finally, now if you obviously want to know where the path is, as soon as you get to this graffiti bit writing on the floor, make sure obviously to grab as many of these rare items again as you can, and then it's going to be just above us. If you wanted to check out the other elevator, of course, remember it's just a little bit off to more to the right where big small stonkle is. So kill a couple of enemies here, and then when we get to the right, go through the door and we will find Mecha Streisand Barbura. Barbara. So again, like I said, this is just a case of, in fact, is it Mecha Chad or is it Mecha Chad or Mecha Cad? Man, the English language is a whole bunch of crap. It's no wonder nobody really wants to learn English if um, any foreigners want to learn English because it's so bloody confusing. Anyway, same sort of thing. Dodge all the attacks, kill all the things and uh, kill the thing dead and then, yeah, we are good. Oh yeah, baby, we're about to be thick and snatched. Mm. See, told you, thick and snatched. Uh, right, so that's what happens if you skip leg day, you get blown to pieces. Um, so again, make sure to grab two of these weapons. Again, if you haven't done the, if you've done the Souls, uh, Souls DJ Sizzle one with the, the scythe, uh, make sure to grab at least one or two of these weapons from the boss to give you more experience for the weapon research. And of course, pick up the red key card before heading down. And now we're into a new area, the cryptical crypt, where the enemies are a bit more annoying um, and a bit more annoying. Uh, so that's it with the annoyingness there. So what we'll do, we are going to head down. We're going to take the first left and we're going to speak to the Elder Bluebenberia. And she's going to task us with finding our sister who apparently has deceased into the otherworldly realm. Realm, not realm, sorry, realm. It's... And then let's crack on, shall we? So once we got that task, we can continue heading to the right, go down. Uh, obviously, just kill everything that you can, all the money we need, etc., etc. Now it's actually this crypt here. Now, if we take, if we go up, this is where we're going to find our first elevator. But it's in this crypt where we can get rare items worth up to a hundred grand each. So, yes, very nice, very nice. So for me, again, this is the fire door with the souls. This time, I actually decide to be less stupid. And um, now, again, obviously, every time that you uh, buy one of these, you will it, it it's obviously going to cost you a hundred a uh, hundred bucks but you should get that uh, back easy from killing everything so don't worry about that uh, apparently i come back for the scythe later which again silly silly me so if we go to the right and then we go down and into the next right room normally you will see one or two of these the glass cases with items that have that are roughly about a hundred grand each in it but again because it's random sometimes they'll appear a few sometimes they won't for me this time they didn't um, so don't worry about that. Again, if you literally just need a quick cash build up, come back here and you'll normally find two or three. Uh, but there is another photo opportunity just at the bottom right of this room. So make sure to interact with that before we continue moving to the left. How you doing? I'm just a sludge face slam face. Oh. Right, so now we can continue heading down. And again, obviously, as is the norm, we're going to grab some tasks, finish some tasks, and grab some more tasks. So uh, once we get uh, go down here, this is a bit chaotic, this area. Um, but there is one of my first rare items. So as you can see, it's going to mostly be 100 grand each time, which is just, wow, magnifico. Plus, right here is the bean. Now, if you remember, we needed to find this bean from the beat earlier on. You wanted the GPU, so... Just like the other ones earlier, shake him three times. That is going to sort him out. So give the bean the little flick of life until he's basically shaken on the floor. 
<laughs> sorry. I am sorry. Uh, yes. Flick the bean. That was just too easy. Too easy. And have a look. See if there's any more rare items in here. But for me, it was only one that ever decided to pop out. Uh, so continue on downwards. Uh, you can speak to the grapefruit dude on the left. Uh, he's just from the first game. He doesn't actually give us anything. Here is the next elevator, though, if you need it. As apparently we'll be in Dutch oven right now. Uh, this is just a room with Slay Queen, so don't worry about that one. Unless you want to try and grab some more... Um, uh, some of the artifact items, which is fine. But if we head to the left, uh, right here, you can find Pumpkin, who asks us to build a bridge. Which we can only get off the dark web, even though there are plenty skulls about, but there we go. And then if we head down, now make sure to speak to this mailbox. This is Turnip Boy's mailbox, and he actually gives you a hat. So a lot of people, I think, can easily miss that one out because it doesn't give us a task. It's easy just to nip straight past, especially if you're not really concentrating. But if you speak to Turnip Boy's mailbox um, now and a little bit later on, he is going to give us a hat in our inbox. So, yes, important to speak to him. But once you've done that, then we can head back up and back past the chaotic section. Go up where the rope is, and then we are going to... Oh, in fact, actually, I'm going to go grab the scythe first, sorry. Finally. And obviously, any souls that you got, get rid of them all. Right, now, if you were as silly as me earlier, make sure to hold on to your scythe until you finally get rid of that task. But anyway, we're heading to the left, um, into the central area once again. Um, now, of course, if you wanted to, you can head left, grab some more money, if you so wish. Uh, because the bridge is actually going to cost us uh, 150,000 buckery dollaries. So again, we're going to head left into the seed stock area just to grab as many um, items as we can. As you can see, our money bag's a little bit full, which sucks donkeys. Right, so after all that then, I managed to get to 161,000. Again, you may have a little bit more, you might have a little bit less. Recycle a weapon and make sure it's not your scythe this time. And then grab another weapon off the board. So we got a... Now, a gr the grenade launcher was genuinely one of my favourites. That was my favourite gun of the game. So I did really enjoy this one. Um, we're going to have a look at the dark web. And as you can see, we've got 161k. So... As long as you've got um, 160k, you can actually get the premium train ticket as well as the builder bridge. Uh, basically, that just the premium train ticket means we don't have to pay for train tickets anymore. Um, even though it's not really much, it's not too much of a difference really, because you can just get your $250 back in one fell swoop of life. But anyway, now we've got the bridge. Obviously, what we can do now is head back up into the central area. Go to the right when we're in that central area through the door, and then we are going to build a bridge in order to get to the other side. Yeah. And of course, while we're here, let's check out some elevators as well.
Right, so before heading all the way up, what we're going to do is give the wood to the dragon fruit here on the right. And that'll be one done. One done dusted. Damn abs. So that's another rock for us uh, to give to the pie a little bit later on. Uh, so once we've done that and we've exploded our way through life, again, when we're in the central courtyard here, we can then go back to the right in order to go through the cryptical creakle. Old treacle. The cryptic crypt. Okay, so now what we're going to do, we can head down once again from here. Uh, it's obviously worth, actually, if we had just head up, uh, have a look at the elevator again, see if there is one that we are yet to get behind. If Again, have a little look. Uh, now, for me, I'd already been there, and it's all good. Again, like I said, it's always worth having a look in this room because sometimes one or even two of the rare glass cases worth a hundred grand each appear. If not, don't worry. Of course, we'll obviously get more than enough money in just a little bit. So we'll come back down here. There was always one for me here, so we'll, we're getting at least a hundred grand at least once. Ah oh, man, imagine that just for a golden boot. Oh yeah, man, that's so hot. That's so freaking hot, man. Right, so now we're going to go down, and then we're going to go all the way to the right, speak to the pumpkin, and he will get us the bridge going. So, now we've got a boning bridge, a, a bony bridge, sorry, done. Now we're into a new area. Couple of enemies that we are obviously going to destroy first. And then what we need to do is go right and then up. And then what you're going to find first of all is your sister here on the right. Yeah, she is looking pretty desoust. And then if we head up, we can find the pomegranate. Now, what he wants us to do. Now, remember Crangelica from a lot earlier on. Now, I still haven't seen the elevator door to go to Cran Cran. Um, where we have to go behind the little pomegranate thing in the elevator. And fight three waves of enemies before speaking to her. So that's two tasks that include her, which we have to do here. Um, so for now, we can head down. There's basically a photo opportunity just on the right. Right now, there we go. We've got to come back to this area anyway, so it does not matter. But there we go. Home sweet home Alabama. Guess who's got... No, I'm actually not going to say anything more than that. Right, so what we need to do then is take your time, because I think your sister can still get lost uh, if you go too fast. Uh, but what you'll need to do is, <clears throat> excuse me, head back up. Go up again, obviously. Oh, and there we go. We've, we've just killed enough peach cops in order to get that one complete. So now we don't have to focus on peach cops if you don't want to. Um, come on. So when we get here then, what we'll do is now take a little... I think you've got to go up the rope first. Or sort of up to the next area, to the left, and then speak to the Elder Blueberry Muffin on the left. So instead of making our sister come back to life, she just gives us the uh, the bow, which just her, her bow, which just makes it worse. So, once you've done that, then that's the hat complete uh, for that one. That's the task done as well. So, now what we can do is head... Um, in fact, there was no nothing, no reason for the elevator there. So, we can actually just head back down. And then eventually make our way to the right past the old bony pumpkin bridge. Right, so we're going to head down, head to the right. Remember the photo opportunity here, if you haven't done that already. Now we're about to get Dutch ovened again. Man, we're going to stink at the end of this. But if you go into the right of this room, we're going to speak to Buddy the Carrot, who looks like a, a really fit Homer Simpson for some reason. Um, that is another task that we're going to do. And there is nothing else in this area, so don't worry about that. So we will just continue heading down, and then we're actually going to face off against the fourth boss in the game so obviously again this is just another one so if you just cross over the bridge here um and then just interact with this thing it's uncle rigsby he's basically this is what uh cloudy of the chance of meatballs 3 is going to look like it's going to be the main enemy a big burger with teeth and a tie for some reason 
At least he's looking good. Anyway, obviously, because we're playing on God mode, what you can do is just stand here and just keep hitting him. Um, but obviously, what you would do is dodge all the things, kill all the enemies, and then, you know, do that. So, just kill him dead. Is it weird that it does look like a tasty burger, even with the, even with the teeth? Mm. Damn it! I paid 70 quid for that! Right, so what we can do now is we can swap out the not the scythe like I do here, like an idiot, um, and grab the big massive sword, plus we get the purple key card. So again, like an absolute tool, I leave the scythe behind. But again, if you haven't done that DJ Sizzle task yet, make sure to keep the scythe on you and keep collecting the souls until it is done. Right, so we are. Do you know what? We're not really uh, far from the end, in all fairness. Um, but here's the thinker, then. Um, just to the left of us. Now, it's by the dragon fruit, the dragon fruit guy. So this is the thinker. He is pretty based. And do you know why? Because he gives us a, 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 a piece of paper with the word based on it. So that's job done. So now we have to return to Buddy in just a bit. But, you know, it's getting a bit gassy-ass, grassy-ass here, isn't it? So, uh, you know, let's... I mean, well, we do need to get some more money and some more items, so back into seed stock. Have a look at the elevators, go ahead, go around and grab some more of the items so we can get as much mono as we can now. Or you can just use your premium train ticket, as you can see, to nip on. Now, I did, again, I did actually have a little flick through the area in order to just grab some more. Um... Because, again, I know we've got 100 grand at least once, but the rest of it helps as well, so... Go back to the weapon research, obviously uh, pop off your two weapons. Again, what I should have done was kept the scythe because I still haven't finished the DJ Sizzle one. Go ahead and grab yet another two weapons. One or two, really doesn't matter. Um, now we can go back to the dark web. We can pick up the tangerine dog and the crowbar in just a bit. But for now, we can go to the robo roids, interact with the money bag. And, in fact, that's it, actually, for now. I thought we were going to buy some more, but we'll just get the money bag into its third upgrade, and then we'll pick up the tangerine dog and the crowbar. So we've still got almost 39 grand left, or I potentially have. Mm -hmm. So you can actually go ahead and just start picking up all of the cheap things right here um, in order to just start blasting this out as quick as we can. But once that's done and you're all good, let's head back into Zitruk. Or, as my two-year-old calls a truck, he calls it a fruck. So he calls a truck a fruck. Now, it's absolutely hilarious to me. Um, but, right, so what we're doing now, I was actually just looking through elevators. So, again, as we've been doing, just going through each elevator. This is the first one that I found in the seed stock area with this fox on it. So, what we have to do then with Dr. Dogner is just go up and basically defeat the super fox. So, that's all we got to do for this one in order to get a hat. Um, but again, like I said, that's why I just edited that down, because I was just going round each room, looking for each elevator, just to see if there was one we hadn't been in before. And this was the first one, while we grabbed some money and some rare items on the way. Hey guys, what about a challenge? 
Wait, actually, let me just keep God mode on. Never mind. No challenge, thanks. Uh, right, so with that one done, again, this is the only time that we need to come into this fox elevator. We've got the hat, fox hat, job done. Uh, now we are going to, again, just having a look around for some more elevators. Now, finally, this is the one I was on about with Crangelica and Cran Cran. So when you find this room, what you need to do is basically fight off three waves of enemies, and then Cran Cran will talk to us. Um, but as I said, because we are coming now towards the end of the game... Um, it is now worth just flicking through and trying to smash through uh, all of the tasks that we can. Trying to find some more. Uh, so, so that's effectively what we're going to do just in order to get them out of the way. So that again, that's why you're just seeing a couple of edit skips here. Because all we're doing for the time being is looking for any elevators that we haven't been in just yet. And this one, like I said, took me almost two and a half hours before it appeared for me. Hey, brat, at least that's another 100k added to the pot. And also, we can grab two new weapons if needed for the weapon research as well. So, once you've done this then, go ahead and finally speak to Cran Cran. Now, remember that we've got two tasks for Cran Cran. Now, I don't think... So, I think what we can do is obviously go to Crangelica. I think we can... Uh, so, speak to Cran Cran. We'll go to Crangelica, finish that one off. I think then you should be able to come back to this room... Uh, if you need to speak to her again, uh, later on, you need to come back, uh, complete the three waves again, and then give the level, love letter to Cran Cran. I think you can do it that way. Um, so, yeah, but obviously for now, we've finally spoken to her, finally got this uh, room going. So, we can obviously go ahead and sort that one out. Now, what we can do now is head to the right, obviously back over the old Bona Bridge. Um, we can go down, basically finding Buddy's room. And we have the Frankenberry all sorted. So speak to Buddy and that'll be this task completed successfully. But the tasks that get failed successfully are even better. And my geo must be acknowledged. And if you know what that quote's from, then good sir, good madam, good whatever you are, I salute you. All right, so once you've done that, then we can head back up. And, of course, what we need to do now is go to the seed stock area, just in order to finish Crangelica's quest. So, the way we can do that then... Um, now, again, just speak to the mailbox here, just in case. He'll say, damn it, it worked. Equaling, we've got the mailbox hat as well. So, you can either... Uh, if you've already had enough of the gas, you can just go back uh, to the warehouse. Or you can go back to the seed stock area and grab the Crangelica quest, complete that one. Um, now, as you can see, it is just started to become a lot easier with money. Thank God! <clears throat> Excuse me. And then when we get here, then, we can go back to the weapon research uh, board. Chuck it up there to level 7. Nice. That gives us a nice little laser pistol. Um, plus, I managed to put a third one in with the water. So, again, obviously, with, with the water one... The water elevator room. Make sure you can you can stick a third weapon in as well. Uh, grab another two guns. Have a look at the dark web. Don't think there's anything that we need for now. Nope. So what we can actually do is go ahead and get the achievement for buying absolutely everything. You should, I believe, have enough now. So you increase your money tenfold, the money bag. And I th I'm pretty sure you should. In fact, no, you're not going to have enough money to grab everything just yet. So, the next time around, though, you will. So, once you've upgraded everything, and everything's all good, and everything's everything, let's go back. Again, as I said, if you need any more money, obviously, just go back to the Cryptic Crip. Grab a couple of the rare items, as well as shaking people down and killing, en and killing enemies. And, obviously, you can get at least two to 300k straight away. Finance your car straight away today. Right, so what we're going to do now is head up and then to the left in order to go back to the seed stock area in order to finish Crangelica's quest. 
Now remember she's at the top left um, just by the next elevator. Obviously if you need to have a look at the two elevators if you haven't been in one yet. Obviously that's what we'll be doing throughout the rest of the game. So we'll continue that. But there she is. All good. I got another confession to me, heck yeah. So she gives us a new photo, that's all good. Now we can head into the uh, next elevator if you haven't already. For me, I finally got the one, I've been looking for this guy for bloody ages by the way. The one with the beat at the very beginning of the game. The one with the GPU where we flick the bean out of him. So, um, there we go. So we've got a uniquely crappy NFT. So yeah, because that went well, didn't it? <laughs> Anyway, that's that task complete anyway with the beat. Um, with the old beat the meat. And then what we could do then is just uh, head. Basically, I was heading looking for more elevators. Again, it was literally just me wandering around aimlessly going through each area in order to find this elevator. The one with the uh, anagrams again. And once we have done that, we can then finally give Cran Cran the drawing. And then we have to go all the way back now to... And again, now what I've done, why I edited that down a lot, is because I went through every area first and then come th to this area last. Which was stupidly annoying. Um, so, again, as you're going along, obviously you're picking everything up. And then we're going to head to the right. This is just where, obviously, the final boss is. Um, obviously, we can just head back up the bridge. And go straight through into the cryptic crypt. And then we can finally go back to the pomegranate and give the love letter, who apparently they were telling each other that they were seven feet tall and stuff. Welcome to Tinder, where everybody lies and everybody cries. Um, sorry, this this not be the area. Of course, that's Bodie and Frokenberry. If we just head up, you're going to take a little right here, go up, and then you can speak to the dude in order to finish the quest. Right, so now we have to go all the way back to the seed section, the seed quarter, sorry, in order to give the uh, ring to the florist, which again, we uh, the task we got was at the beginning of the game. So, uh, like I said, in terms of story progression, we're not doing any story progression for now. It is literally just the case of going around each elevator door, see which ones we still might not have opened, uh, getting as much money and things as we can, although we don't need as much as before. Um, but we're literally just doing all the tasks. So again, have a look at the start menu, have a look at your phone and see what tasks you are. Uh, you've still got left. Um, again, if it's easier, just write down which tasks you've got left with which elevator door um, you need to do behind it. So that's always a little bit easier there. Um, now, it's funny, those uh, pentagram doors, I didn't see any for about two and a half, three hours of my first playthrough, and then they just kept appearing like nobody's business, which was nice. I love it when that happens. Okay, so, uh, yep, let's get out of here then. Heading, when we get into the central courtyard here, go all the way to the left. And we are going to head, uh, it's in the bottom right sort of corner where we're going to find the florist. So that is another picture completo, and now what we're going to do, we need to talk to the strawberry as well. So they're both harboring great feelings for each other. So now we need to find a gold ring for the strawberry. Again, why are these bloody things just don't do it themselves? There's probably shops about. You're working in a bank for God's sake. Uh, but anyway, so that's what we've got to do. As long as you've talked to strawberry and you've got the task available, we can then go ahead and grab the uh, gold ring in just a bit. 
Okay, so we are obviously all done with these areas for now. So if you think that you're all done and you've checked every elevator and you've got um, as many tasks complete um, and as much money as you think you've got for now, we should be all good in order to just go back to the warehouse. Oh my, it's looking tasty, isn't it? 250 k That's not even enough to get you a quarter of a house these days. But of course, we just have to stop drinking coffee and uh, stop going to the gym in order to afford a nice 250 grand quarter of a house. A one bedroom house. That's what they're worth these days, but all the rich celebrities think that we drink too much coffee and watch Netflix too much. So anyway, once you have put the weapons research on the board, done all that, now we should have more than enough in order to grab every item from Roboroids. Once we have got enough money from Roboroids, the achievement there should unlock there. There we go. All natural. Yes, just like every bodybuilder ever invented. So, um, well, in fact, this is, this, uh, yeah, this, <laughs> this is it now. Once we have got the majority done, we can actually um, begin to crack on with the story progression. So again, once you've done everything with the elevators that you think you can, we can actually um, start to begin. We are obviously going to start cracking on with the, uh, the uh, tasks as well, finishing off all the tasks. So again, actually, we are going to have a look through the elevators. There was a little bit of an edit just because I'd seen which elevators I've got. And which ones I need. So it's literally just a case of checking which ones you've got and knowing where you're going. But for now, we are actually going to head to the left just before the dark docks in order to get down to this area. So climb through the pipes and we are going to have to fight off a whole bunch of doity rats. Once these ratman dudes are taken care of, we're going to go down. So take the down pipe, and then when we get here, we're going to get another task here with Ratboy. Oh, no, sorry, it's Pearl, first of all. Pearl's actually the one that's going to drop us a soda can. And it is literally just soda. So if, of course, we see the water-like door, uh, water-like elevator door, we can then give the conductor onion his soda pop. So head to the right and up this pipe. Um, you don't have to speak to the carrot, but we do have to kill these Ratmandus. Once they are done, dead and dusted, head to the right. And it's another rat infested area. Oh, and of course, if you didn't realize, I got the scythe back as well. So now I'm actually going to finally finish that DJ Snizzle uh, task. But anyway, once you get into the left-hand side pipe here, um, the rat friend uh, gives us a little task. So we need to go back up to the pipe. So up through the up pipe. Go up through the up pipe again. And eventually, on our left, we are going to find the rat friend, who basically gives us rat approving noises, which is nice. So then we just have to go back down. So to the right, go down. Go to the right pipe again. And then to the left. And we will complete this task. Okay, now, if you're wondering why we haven't got much money, I'm going to show you in just a minute. So we head back up, basically the way we came, just to get the, as we go up again, in order to get the rat friend task done. This time, though, we're going to go straight ahead. There's basically a secret wall. Now, this is a photo opportunity just on the right. Um, you can have a little look around. But uh, basically, something comes after you. I don't think you can avoid it. So I did try to get out, but it didn't seem to work. But uh, that gives us the photo, and that also gives us the chance to die and go back to the warehouse to be alive again. Uh, so that's why I wasn't so much on the um, uh, messing around 
and grabbing some more stuff as we were just going with that particular one. So once again, then uh, here we are back in the good stuff. Like I said, I've stopped. I've, I've avoided uh, shaking people down just because there's no point. Uh, but we're going to continue on upwards through the numero one door. We did actually get the security guards done as well. So again, those four mushroom ones, they'll pr pretty much be done on its own. We'll now go back uh, down to the left. And this time, we will actually continue the story. So we don't actually have to interact. We do have to kill the three rats again, though. So when the old skip rats are done, again, head to the right, up through the pipe, and yes, it's Ratmandu time. And again, we are going to head to the right, and yes, again, it's going to be Ratmandu time. So this time, we're actually finally able to go to the right. Yay! Just what you've always wanted. So when we get here then, what you're gonna do, you can speak to an old man if you want, the old lemon. But if you just go straight into the room, you will get the mother load achievement for finding the money. And then we can basically smash everything in this room in order to get a million bucks. And in order to find, there is a gold ring as well. Remember, we need to get the gold ring for the strawberry. So, uh, Aubrey Strawberry. So, just smash a whole bunch of things about. Um, all the rare items, just grab out. And again, so make sure to grab the Golden Ring for Strawberry as well. Just so you don't have to come back here later. Congratulations. So once you've C4 your way through, um, have a look at the, in fact, have a look at the desk first in order to get the Stonkel drawing down. Um, so we need to return to Stonkel in a bit, but make sure to put the paper down first on his desk. Interact with the diamond. This is going to give us the millions of dollars, even though we just stole it right in front of Stinkle Bags. Um, go ahead, speak to Stinkle Bags, and then we can interact with the chest above us in order to get another achievement. God damn it. Anyway, that'll get you the found dad's old stuff achievement. Right, so now obviously what we're going to do is go ahead and grab the... Uh, the uh, we need to go back to the seed quarter. Make sure to grab one of these guns as well, these big dollaries. There's one that shoots pennies and there's one that shoots dollars. Which, I mean, if I'm going to die, it would be with a good money gun like that. So obviously what you need to do is just head head back out all the way, the way we came. And we are going to go back to the sea quarter to talk to Strawberry to give her the gold ring. Which should also unlock the photography student achievement for taking all of the photos. So heading up rather than left. Yeah, and then we are going to head left. Past Carrot Nose. And then we're going to head left. Ugh. And then finally, this is the exit. So exit your way in. This time, like I said, we're going to head to the left and go down and find the strawberry. And as I said, she's going to give us a photo, which should be all 11 photos done and dusted. And 
tell me, has an immediate proposal ever worked for anyone? Um, Because all I see on Facebook and Twitter and Instagram is, like, the failed ones, which, I mean, some are pretty funny in all fairness, but uh, it's quite kind of devastating at the same time. Hilariously devastating is a word I would use. Okay, so, as I said, providing you followed along with the guide, you should have got all photos. Um, Again, I think there's eight that you can actually find. And then the rest is, uh, is given to you. So that should be that. So with this one then, what we can actually do now is effectively just head back into the truck. We will then get the achievement for stealing a million bucks. Right. So, let's do it! Although, we can't let's do it just yet, because of course, we still have a couple of achievements left to grab first. So, uh, first things first then, um, obviously, the, the normal stuff, the research weapon, uh, research weapon board. Um, but what we can do is, if you speak to Pickle Dilatini, he will now give us, uh, basically, permission in order to... Grab the jetpack from the dark web, which costs about 990 grand, something like that. So go onto the dark web after you speak to Pickle Dilatini Riccolini. Oh, 900k, sorry, there we go. Right, so a couple of the tasks that I've got left then is show Annie the 10 photos, which we should have if we got the achievement. Kill the 25 stop, swap peppers, returning to Stonkel, the Shruminati quest, um, which of course, and the DJ Scissor one I should have, and the Pi 3 rock. So, uh, again, hopefully you should have, if you haven't done the majority, which you should have, hopefully you've got a few less, but whichever ones you've got, again, um, let's just get them done, whichever ones they are. So... Uh, show Annie all of the photos first of all. That's going to be the first quest done. Right, so now what we can do then is, you can speak to Dilatini if you want. This is effectively going to come up to the end of the game, the last sort of uh, few minutes. But of course, we've got the task to do first. There is obviously going to be quite the edits coming up, um, just to show you which ones I've got left to do. So just in case you haven't figured it out, or whichever one, then obviously you'll know which ones to do. So, uh, that is effectively what we are now going to be focusing on, is completing the rest of the tasks. Uh, so for me, now I still need to kill 100 swap peppers, but I do actually go and turn in three of these tasks first. And like I said, that'll give us another three hats. We'll come back for the fourth one a little bit later on. Next, uh, the as we go up into the dark, dark cellar, in the dark, dark skeleton, there was some big skeleton, a little skeleton, and a dog skeleton. Um, no, just joking. But we do actually need to go back to Stonkel here. And if you, like me, are needing SWAT peppers, this is the area which you are going to mainly find them in. Plus... Um, they will obviously all come down with the police as well when you start getting three or four stars or whatever. Um, so it is literally just a case of grinding out whichever you particularly need. Again, for me, it was the swap peppers. That's why I'm down here. And we're obviously all also going to go to the right-hand side in order to complete the stonkel. Uh, stinkle, stonkle, stinky wonkle task. Congratulations. 
So once Stonkel is done and you get the kill swap peppers one done as well, we can finally find an elevator with the skull. We can turn that one in and then that this one is done as well. So that's another hat added to the collection. Fly Agaric, fly! Uh, so yeah, so they are done. So next up again, find out whatever it is, whatever task it is that you've got. Now I'm gonna find this water door and give the conductor onion his soda pop. Who loves orange soda? Onion does. And he gives us a cheeky a little rubber dip duck. R rubber duck, that's all, just a rubber duck. So next one is finally the sizzle one, which let's be honest, I should have really completed this task ages and ages ago, but I kept being silly with it. Um, so yeah, finally, once we've got that one done, that's going to be the next one done as well. Sell your soul. You do actually have to talk to him again, and then he will finally give us the big and lumpy rock. Um, so, yep. So that's that one done. Hey, I have committed no war crimes. None. The next one. Now, I've actually come in this room quite a few... <laughs> sorry. I've actually uh, came into this room... Sorry. A, a couple of times. And I still kept forgetting that our watermelon friend was up here. Now, remember the rare artifact with the watermelon that we really got at the beginning of the game? Completely forgot it was in the same area, so there's watermelon, bro. Once you've done that one... Watermelon. Your watermelon gives us the old cheeky Lecky Lecky's hat. Okay. Right, so... Again, like I said, after every task that you do, obviously it's always just worth pausing to see what you've got left. For me, I had to get into this mountain room in order to give all of the rocks now to the sad pie. Still looking good to eat, even as a sad pie. Um, but again, you will get these rocks by doing various other tasks, so you don't actually have to go out of your way to find them. And there he goes, he turns into an even more delicious pie. So once you have uh, finished that, you talk to him again, and then he's all like, Oh my god, take my golden shit! Golden what? And hilariously for me anyway, I get the completionist achievement by getting the golden turd hat. Which I don't know how hilariously ironic that was, but anyway, we've got that one done. So, once we have completed all the tasks, now what we're going to do is reach the max level in weapon in the weapon research. Now, again, the easiest way... I'm only going to show you, obviously, once. But the easiest way to do this, then, is we're just going to head into this first boss room here on the left. The Sergeant Potato Head Yeehaw. Um, once you kill him, like I said, there should always be about two weapons floating about. So just grab those weapons, go back down to the... Um, back to the warehouse, and then just rinse and repeat until the five head achievement unlocks. So it shouldn't take mo no more than sort of ten minutes in order to do this, but because he does, uh, the bosses normally drop a decent um, experience sized weapon, that's why I thought it was just easy to do that rather than roaming around everywhere. So there we go then, once you've done that. Personally, it took me only three times. I had to go back and forth three times in order to beat the box to get the max research one done. But that will give us the five head achievement. And now that is going to be it. So now we can actually crack on with the uh, with the big story. 
And the big story being, what we have to do is, again, we have to beat all four bosses and then put big massive booster rockets, which where Tuna Boy is sticking it, as you'll see, I got no idea. But uh, I assume it's pretty uncomfortable. So, again, we'll have to go back and beat the old Sergeant. Yeah! Give me potato fries off my head, son! Right, so before leaving, make sure to press the A button here next to where Sergeant Chipbags was sitting. That'll give the, um, again, where Turnip Boy was sticking that. I've got not a clue. But let us head up anyway. And then what we're going to do is head up and to the left past the cardboard box area where we have to fight the um, reincarnated Michael Jackson candy apple sour boss again. Damn, I should have put a noise like, oh, <laughs> um, oh no, that's ignorant. Right, so, beepity boop beep, let us place the next booster straight out of Turnip Boys, wherever he found that. And then we can head to the right, so that's two out of four boosters. Uh, so we will just have to quickly, now you can, it's up to you, you can go down and then go to the central courtyard, go right through the cryptic creek and beat Mecha Chad first, or we can just go through the dark dock here, which I'm going to do, and just go this way. Completely up to you, whichever way, but um, again, I just decided to go the dark dock way. Oh my god, man, shouldn't have skipped leg day. No, because he got small calves. Yeah, but at least your chest and your shoulders and traps are looking goddamn awesome. Biceps, triceps, lats and more. Gonna get a punch, gotta get a monster, a punch in a wall. Right, anyway, so once that one's done, sorry, and we've placed the booster down. Don't know where the hell that just came from. Now we're gonna go for the fourth and final boss, the Rigsby boss. 
So if you remember where he's going, we're going down. We're going to head to the right across the bony bridge. And then just continue on our way. So just go ahead, press the A button on this bridge in order to get the boniest of bridges and the boosters going as well. Uh, but once you have done that, we can actually just simply nip to the left in order to go to the control panel to go up into space. Oh, baby, it's a space race. It's a space tiger. In fact, before we do that, we're obviously going to head up and then interact with it in the central courtyard. Uh, this is, uh, will also get us the see you later space turnip dot 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 achievement and then we effectively just have to do one more thing and Then that is going to be That a Rooney now. We're basically having to turn off all the booster rockets this time while being shot up by a space worm thing So again, we have to go in each room while enemies and obstacles are all in the way and everything so, I mean, it would have been easier if you just had, like, a remote control to go. We'll turn that off, we'll turn that off, and... So, man, let's do it, brother. Right, first of all, then, what we're going to do is actually head to the left. Now, obviously, because we're in space, um, there's going to be a lot of holes and obstacles and everything in the way. Uh, so just smash your way through. Obviously, if you're playing legit, just try and avoid the big space worm things as much as you can. Heading up. So, of course, we need to go once again into each boss room area. So heading up first, we're going to go into the uh, Michael Jackson reincarnated uh, boss room first. Just go straight up and press the A button next to the rocket. You know when you've done it because the zo uh, uh, screen zooms out. Three more to go, brother. Right, so head back down, and now we are actually going to go towards the uh, first boss, Sergeant Potato Head. So we need to go right first, and then start heading down. And then, so again, just break your way through all of the debris. Head down, 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 down. There we go, and that is the second one. Completo! And then we can now begin to head to the right. So out of here. And of course, you, you it's, it should all still look kind of familiar to you. But we head back up into the central courtyard. Then we're going to go to the left. Uh, right, sorry. In order to get to the cryptic creep part. Uh, cryptic crypt. That's what I'm trying to say. So obviously what we need to do is obviously just fight our way all the way up to the top. So through this uh, key card number three door. And there is the third one. Yeah, man. And then we'll head back down. And then we can go to the... Uh, obviously, just follow the path for now. We're going to head straight down this time. And now we have to go to Mr. Rigsby's one. So, heading down, 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 down. Uh, continuing right over the bonus... The boner bridge. <laughs> My favourite bridge of all time. Heading down... And one more thing left to do, we have to go back to the central courtyard again. Why we just haven't got a button just to go beep. Right, there we go. That would have been easier. So obviously we're just heading back up the way we came. Back over the bony bridge. The old bony bridge. Elevator's not working now. That's annoying, isn't it? 
Uh, uh, just continue, obviously, heading up through the sort of chaotic little library area to the left. And once we get in here, just press the button in the middle of the central courtyard, and this is it. So you will get the but at what cost achievement for defeating the final boss. Now, this is where people were having a lot of the problems. So, basically, we're going to get the rest of the hats after the credits. Do not uh, completely quit out and then return to the main menu. So, either way you do it, uh, yeah, so either way you do it, you will always go back to uh, pre-killing the bosses again and setting all the boosters down and everything. But what you have to do, now, this worked for me, I hope that it will work for everyone else as well. But instead of completely quitting out and then going back into it, it wouldn't actually work. So what you need to do is just wait for the credits, completely wait for the credits to play out. So go off and do something else for five minutes or, you know, stick a digit up your nose or whatever. Just do something other than, just watch the credits. As long as the credits play out, the inbox should now have a couple more left to get. Now you remember that I obviously looked at my hats earlier on. So a lot of people are thinking that if you do that, the um, achievement wouldn't unlock. But it just seems to be as long as you've watched the credits roll, you will get these last three done. And then the final achievement will unlock. So I'm hoping that's all it is and it's not actually bugged. And that's it. So there we go, guys and gals. Oh, yeah. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the game. I absolutely loved it. I hope that the guide helped as well. If it did, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share it with a friend as well. And a big shout out to my Patreon supporters and YouTube members as always. So thank you so, so much. And I'll see you in the next Game Pass game then, guys and gals. Big old turnip boy, chunky love nuts, love.